Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Cold Tetsu Steel, and today, let's play some Colony Survival. Now, as you can tell, this is actually an English speaking video. As most of you probably already know, most of my content is exclusively in Japanese. However, lately I've been getting a lot of English activity on the channel, mainly thanks to Dragast and Gray Still Plays. So, in response to that, I thought I would make an English speaking gaming video. Actually, some of my Japanese audience also wants some English speaking videos. So, hopefully, this can be a thing. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But without any further ado, let's actually play this game. That's what we're here for, right? So, we have our farm ish area over here. And actually, down below, I have maybe three, four, five levels of underground farms. And then we have our beds, like our five billion bed area over here. Because after watching other people's videos, and them having over a thousand colonists, I too want a thousand colonists, but I don't think I will do that in this episode. Uh, I have a lot of preparation that I need to do. Still mo more farms and stuff. I need more farms. And probably more arrows and stuff like that. Because the zombies are gonna come in droves. But yeah, I'm actually not sure how anybody can sleep down here. Like, there's probably a billion people snoring and tossing and turning and getting up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water. I, I mean, they don't actually do that, but that's my imagination of what goes on down here. I don't sleep down here, so I, I have no idea. That, they could be like a pillow fight or something. Some, like, teenage or college girl pillow fight. Maybe I should sleep. Anyway, um, so today I actually want to go over into the castle and do some stuff. A lot of it is actually finished, but there are areas that are kind of open and there's nothing in there. Also, there's my giant colonists from the previous episode. I don't know if you guys watched that, but there's actually like a small colony in there. There's farms and beds and a dining area. I have to about, about the waist, I think, built on the inside, which is pretty sweet because zombies actually don't attack that. And this, okay, so before you think anything, before you say anything, before you even think Wow, that looks like a giant, you know. Um, so this was supposed to be like a giant world tree kind of a thing. But halfway through, I mean, I did this on live stream this morning, yesterday. And like halfway through, it kind of just became a mushroom. Like a really large mushroom. Like, I don't even think Mario would want this thing so gigantic. Even Mario's like, Mamma Mia! But yeah, so let's go in here. Oh, crap. Got some zombie action over here. So this is my castle area. Now I was thinking about making this kind of an orchard-ish area. You see I already have saplings down. For whatever reason they're not growing. I think it's because I had a forest area or whatever. I had like a forester area and then I got rid of it so these things don't exist. I don't know how that works in game logic but I also want to do something over here. I put... Let's turn on the lights. I put... A fence here. I don't remember doing this. I don't know why I did this. Probably just to make it less open and boring. But if you guys have any suggestions of what to do over here, I think I want to make that... An orchard-ish area. Maybe I will put... Oh, that might be a good idea. To put the cherry blossom trees in here. Yeah! Let's go ahead and do that later. And uh, here is the throne room. It is partially complete. I have a whole bunch of guards in here. So <laughs> you can kind of see this right here. Now why I have this bar right here is because zombies like to spawn over in here, come around the corner at some stupid speed. I mean, it's regular zombie speed. Like it's a snail's crawl of a pace. But this guy, I don't know if he's very, like, intent on staring at the guy over there, if they're in love or something, like, hey, baby. But, uh, they don't do anything until the zombie's already gnawing on his cankle, so he dies. That's, that's just, <laughs> that's the reasoning behind this child lock, this child gate, because they are children. But back here, I actually want to, excuse me, can I get back here? This is kind of the king's bedroom. Oh, I need to finish this up. I <laughs> haven't been back here in a while, so I actually didn't notice that this is incomplete. That's awkward. But, 
beyond that, to the right and to the left, there's actually a giant room that I've created. I think I need some more... Oh yeah, I need some more torches in here. Excuse me. Torch. Go ahead and maybe put one in each corner. Like a this. Are those the same height? I, I don't even know. Okay, that lit things up a bit. Now let's maybe make this a dining hall. A mess hall and stuff for the guards that won't actually come over here and eat. So maybe we'll do something like... Whoa, excuse you. Oh, that's right. I changed a whole bunch of uh, settings and stuff like that so I could make that giant mushroom. So if I hold down... Oh, that... Oh. Dang it. <laughs> I thought that was going to be perfect. Excuse you. Maybe we'll do... That? Dang it. This? So if I hold it down, I actually... can place things extremely fast, like this. It's kind of crazy, and I can do also do it from very far away, like way over there. Which is extremely helpful, but I don't need it right now. So can I... Wait, let's put the chairs down first and see what... No, that's not where I want you. That's not the right direction, sir. Okay. So, stop. <laughs> so, these chairs and tables, I actually did not make the model for. I found them online and I kind of just introduced them into the game. But as for the fence and stuff, the fence, the stairs, the windows, and I think that's it. That might be it. I made those three things from scratch using Blender. So you can actually make things in Blender and add them into the game, which is extremely interesting. And I think it's kind of an interesting selling point over... That's not what I wanted to do at all. But here we are. <laughs> Maybe I'll do something like this. Yeah. We'll do something like that. Is that... No. One more over. Stop. So we'll put chairs in like this. Actually, I was only planning to make this be like a five minute video and actually might be like more than that. I wanted to make it a short video because I wanted to gauge everybody's reactions and opinions to it. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. This is a good enough. They're not going to eat here anyway. Maybe I'll put something in here like uh, a thing. I don't have anything to put in here. Nope. Oh, maybe I need to make a royal kitchen where I can put a whole bunch of ovens and such. Oh, it's daytime. I didn't notice. Okay, so what do we want to do over here? Maybe I will take a whole bunch of this white carpet. And... Do I have flight on? I do. So I use flight to go down below like this because it's so much easier and quicker to place blocks. I try not to use flight too much. But I do. <laughs> I'm kind of a liar. I'd like to not use flight that much, mainly because I know how jittery and how fast it can be. I'm gonna need some more white carpet. Excuse me while I cheat, because you can't actually make these things in the game anywhere. Uh, we'll give ourselves 500, because I don't want to play this loot game anymore. Arr... Oh. Okay. So. Oh, maybe. You know what? What I might do. Is I might do. Like on this side. Similar to this side. I might do an edge. Of these coated planks. I really like these coated planks actually. They have a little bit of gloss to them. I wish there was more stuff like this in the game. Actually. I added the marble. Does the marble have the gloss? I don't know if I added the gloss to the marble. I didn't, but I should. What am I thinking? It's marble. Whatever. <laughs> so let's go ahead and... Do we want to put... We probably do... Oh. Uh. Duh. <laughs> Maybe we will just ignore that. All right, and with this... Oops. And with this, we kind of have an edge, and I think that does look better. Maybe I should make this America. Have like red, white, and blue. I mean, I do have those colors. 
That wasn't on purpose, but I do have those colors in terms of carpet. So I want this to be a bedroom. Now the problem is, hopefully these guys will be assigned to these beds. Because if not, some random farmers are going to take a long trip to get to their bed and will die. Like there is no doubt about it, they will just die. And now do we want this on the e edge here? Like this? Probably, huh? Ah, crap. <laughs> I should have made it one larger. Uh, man, what do I... Ah, I have an idea. We'll make the center... Wait, what if I do this? What if I do this? I ask. I do that. And then I do... That is still wrong. <laughs> that is still very wrong. Okay, I got it. So we'll do that. No, that's also dumb. That is also dumb. Maybe... I got it. Like this. Yeah, maybe? Anybody? Bueller? Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're guards. They're not meant to have, like, the most luxurious of beds. Not that anybody has any luxurious beds in this game. I mean, technically... You could have, like, a king-size bed, or, like, the the wedded couple bed. Uh, do we want to have space in between these? Probably should. Okay, maybe we won't. Thanks, game. All right, not looking too bad, so let's add some light in here. Let there be light, said the tooltip of this torch. That is incredibly wrong. There. Is that the same level? I think so. And so... That's not too bad, actually. And it also increased our bed amount. Like I said, hopefully these guys will take to that bed and no other colonists will come over here. So next time, what I might do, if you guys are interested, and it would have to be quite a bit of interest because it will take a long time to do, but I can add English subtitles, maybe like the CC, the closed captioning, I could make that into English subtitles on my next Japanese colony survival video. Um, but yeah, that does take an incredibly long amount of time. Actually, the translation part isn't even the problem, it's actually the timing. It has like an automatic timing thing on there, but it's not very good. Anyway... That's gonna do it for me today. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think about having an English series on the channel and what you guys think I should make inside the castle here or even beyond the castle, maybe inside there because I do want to make a colony in so oh, hey, hello everybody, zombie everybody. I also want to make some more stuff inside the colonist over there and more stuff inside the town here. I do have like a pathway going over there, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, I kind of want to make a blacksmith. I have a blacksmith over here for the time being, but it's, you know, bleh. What are you doing? Oh, I thought it was going to work. I thought it was going to work at nighttime. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys thought, what your guys' suggestions are, and I will see you guys next time.